Hello, in this short tutorial, I would like to explain how you can use ChatGPT, um, the OpenAI API streaming responses in Node.js. So, for this, we're going to be using the official OpenAI library, which is right now 4.3.1, but um, it should work with any version after this current version. And we're going to be explaining how to do streaming responses. And what that basically means is in ChatGPT, say you say, like, um, right. Recipe for say you do this, and then you see how the response starts almost instantaneously, and you have ChatGPT kind of typing it with you know kind of these chunks that makes it look um, pretty smooth and nice. And now a lot of people think there's just some animation in the front end, but it's actually not. It's actually a functionality provided by OpenAI called streaming. And when you're doing an OpenAI API request, you can set this variable stream equals true. And this makes the model start returning tokens as soon as they're available, instead of waiting for the full sequence to be generated. This makes it um, a lot faster and looks a lot smoother for production applications. So I, I just want to explain how you can implement this. So here's the full code we'll be making, and I just want to um, show this. Um, if you just want to copy my code down, but I will be explaining this now and basically relating it. So this is basically a starting point for the OpenAI API. I have a Node.js project initialized here with the OpenAI API in, in, installed using npm i openai. So if you want to install OpenAI, please use this command in your Node.js project and that will install it. And now, once we have that, we can set up this simple OpenAI configuration, basically import the class OpenAI from the OpenAI module, and then we have the um, actual initialization. Now, if you're using ES6, which is um, which will mainly be in front-end React applications that are using Webpack, uh, so you can see my video about Webpack, but then you would be using this syntax, um, OpenAI from OpenAI. This would be the other syntax that you will be using based on what type of Node.js you have. Anyways, I'm just using um, CommonJS, which is what I'm using right now. And first of all, you need an API key, and it's pretty common knowledge by now. You can just make one uh, by going to create new secret key. It's doing something. I don't know why it's not really. Okay, maybe I cannot call it that. Anyways, I will, once I got my API key, I can just paste it here. And normally in a production application, you want to put it in an environment variable, but I'm just gonna put it in a variable for the sake of this video. Now, once we have that, we can actually start making um, our application. Now for this, I wanna demo how the normal system looks, which, um, which is a bit different actually. So when you have a normal um, generation without streaming, you will actually see, so say I do the same thing, a speed for glob jamun. And this would give actually, so you see how it's like taking time, right? So it's that's the time it's actually generating. And with streaming, it will instantly start. So it will not take this long. So now it's ready. But it's like that long, and normally in a, in a production application, you don't want that kind of delay, which is way too long. So here is where you need streaming, and streaming makes it a lot easier to basically, and it will just make it so that it's instantly just typing the text as though it's a human. So how do we implement this? So first of all, you want to add a new thing called stream, and basically in this was in this request object, you want to add a new key called stream, and you can set it to true or false. Default is true. I mean, default is false. And you have to manually set it to true if you want it. Now, once we have streaming enabled, this code won't work, because we're now going to be set chunks of text instead of the full response. To handle this, we have to use a for await loop. And this is not a really popular loop in JavaScript, but it is a way of using promises and um, in an 
and the Lady of Commerce is kind of like that. And how do we use this? Is you have to do for await const, and then in here you would have the segments or the products or whatever. Um, completion. So this is a completion label, and we have each product. Now let's see. Let's log each part and see what we actually have in the text. So let's run the node dot script. And now you see we instantly start getting a bunch of these objects. This is basically a completion. I mean a completion chunk object, and each chunk contains a bit of text that we use. Now to actually read this content of the text, we have to look at part dot choices dot choices zero dot delta dot content and this is what actually contains the plain text of each chunk now we run this command and we see each chunk being printed out now obviously this is not a very good ui right now we everything is being on its own line so how do we prevent that now first of all we can um now first of all we can we do not need to log it if it's undefined so this is going to be our text. So this is our actual content of the trunk. Now, to make it look nice um, in a terminal, what we can do is we can make a new variable called full, and let's make that an empty string. And as new trunks are coming, we can append to that string. And now, at the time, we can just log this full, Text. Now, make sure to clear the console right before that, or else we'll have the same text being repeated over and over again. So now we'll have, every time a new chunk comes in, our console is cleared, and full is appended, the console is cleared, and then we have a full text being logged. And this creates a really satisfying experience, just watch this. This is how ChatGPT basically does it, and look how smooth it is. And look how instantaneous it started instead of us having to wait that long. This is the power of streaming, and this is how you can implement it in Node.js. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.